Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 20th, 2017. And yesterday, mid-afternoon, we were actually able to see some sunshine where I live. And I decided to take out the laser lens that I have used many times before to photograph the sun. And these laser lenses can be purchased for your camera, your video camera, or you can actually purchase them for eyewear. And I actually have both. I used to run a very large laser cutting fabrication machine, what you would call a CNC machine, cutting very large sheets of steel in very intricate patterns. And so I had to wear this laser eyewear. And this laser eyewear is pretty cool. And you could actually look directly up at the sun. And a year ago, I decided to start some experiments using the laser eyewear, protective wear, to see if I could view the sun. And it worked. And later on, I discovered that they do manufacture these lenses for cameras and video cameras. So I wanted to see if I was able to capture anything near the sun. So I took everything out and I decided to start taking some video footage of the sun because I quickly noticed that the chemtrail planes had come out and they were spraying this fine mist, once again trying to cover up the sun. Now, this is just a photograph of what these laser lenses look like for camera systems, and the human eye cannot see in infrared, and these laser lenses, when used as eyewear, they actually work pretty good in high levels of sunlight and like i said i've used them many times before and i've caught some pretty cool footage of the sun and today was the day that i definitely captured something below the sun now i have photographed and recorded this object throughout all of 2016. Now, earlier in the year of 2016, I captured this object at about the two o'clock position near the sun, and it was much, much smaller. Now, you can see the small lens flares in the bottom of the video. And whenever I put the eyewear on and took a look at the sun, I immediately saw the object situated at about the five o'clock position. And that's when I decided to start videotaping. Now, the chemtrail planes had already placed a large portion of their chemicals in the sky and it seems to be they're using some other type of fine mist and it puts a layer of gray haze over the sun now you can still see the sun but the glare of the sun kind of disappears so i decided to start taking some video footage and as soon as I put the, the red lens on the camera, I was clearly able to see this object below the sun between the five and six o'clock position. So I continued to videotape and I decided to stop videotaping and move to another location. I wanted to make sure that what I was seeing would be seen from another location, from another angle, and I waited about 45 minutes before I went to this other location. Now, the location that I went to 
gives me a very clear view of the sky and absolutely breathtaking sunsets. And this area happens to be right behind a very large Lowe's lumber yard. And it kind of sits up on a little bit of a high elevation and it allows me to view the setting sun. Now this all occurred between 4 p.m. and 4.45 p.m. Usually the sun is almost gone by 5 p.m., 5.15 p.m. So whenever I went to the other location and put the laser eyewear on, well, once again, I was able to see this object under the sun clearly, and it was quite large. Now, I know a lot of people who debunk these videos will say that was a reflection, uh, you know, something within the light and the camera and the video camera. Well, I'm going to have to debate that because, once again, before I even took one piece of video, I put my laser goggles on, I looked directly up at the sun, and I was clearly able to see this object. And when I went to the other location, now this object had moved from the five o'clock position to about the six o'clock position, as you can see. In your video right now, you can see the large haze of the chemtrailing that they were laying down. And once again, folks, whatever type of compound that they are using to chemtrail these skies, it's much different than they were using before. Now, this past summer, they would chemtrail the sun with this very, very heavy substance that would create large, black, heavy clouds. And what I've noticed going into the late fall and this early winter they must be using some type of a different compound because they spray this compound very rapidly and it dissipates into this thin gray overcast and it doesn't move it just stays right there it blocks out the complete sky so i decided to continue this videotaping and I was quite amazed at what I was seeing and there's no doubt in my mind what was there. Then I decided if I could catch a reflection of this object off of the roof of my car to see if it would reflect two objects and as you can see as I was videotaping the reflection off of the paint, off of the roof of my car, which had just been washed and was clean. You can clearly see that there was the reflection of not just the sun, but the object that is underneath it. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not seeing things. I, I had the laser eyewear on. I double checked what I was looking at and if I can see it with my own eyes not just a camera not just a video camera I'm viewing something with my own eyes so are my eyes deceiving me or was there actually an object below the sun at the six o'clock position which had actually moved from the five o'clock position to the six o'clock position in about 45 minutes now once again you can make up your own mind on what you're seeing put together your own theories and your own thoughts but what I saw today is something that I'll never forget. And like I said before, I have videotaped this object 
for the past year. And I want to know exactly what it is. And I think everyone wants to know what this object is. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Lenses, when used as eyewear, they actually work pretty good in high levels of sunlight. And like I said, I've used them many times before and I've caught some pretty cool footage of the sun. And today was the day that I definitely captured something below the sun. Now I have photographed and recorded this object Everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 20th, 2017. And yesterday, mid afternoon, we were actually able to see some sunshine where I live. And I decided to take out the laser lens that I have used many times. Eyewear is pretty cool. And you could actually look directly up at the sun. And a year ago, I decided to start some experiments using the laser eyewear, protective wear, to see if I could view the sun. And it worked. And later on, I discovered that they do manufacture these lenses for cameras and video cameras. So I wanted to see if I was able to capture anything near the sun. So I took everything out and I decided to start taking some video footage of the sun because I quickly noticed that the chemtrail planes had come out and they were spraying this fine mist, once again trying to cover up the sun. Now this is just a photograph of what these laser lenses look like for camera systems and the human eye cannot see in infrared and these lasers before to photograph the sun and these laser lenses can be purchased for your camera your video camera or you can actually purchase them for eyewear and I actually have both I used to run a very large laser cutting fabrication machine what you would call a CNC machine cutting very large sheets of steel in very intricate patterns. And so I had to wear this laser eyewear. And this laser 